Sarah Ann Shawell has now seen it for herself. They don't look anything like they're supposed to. Entire buildings are flattened. The trees are all snapped like toothpicks. There is no greenery left. She shot this footage flying over parts of Green Turtle Key, a Bahamian island hit hard by Hurricane Dorian. It's honestly hard to figure out what you're looking at. And these are places that you know really well. She needed to see what the storm did to her family's resort, Green Turtle Club. It's the largest employer on the island with about 50 employees. And while the storm left its mark, she says everyone she knows who stayed on the island is okay. Her marina's docks are still standing, but some of the club's buildings and many of the other structures on the island are destroyed. Flying over from the air is, is pretty crazy to see because it's really hard to recognize places that you know, you've been going your whole life. Now she's leading an effort to get help to the people of the Bahamas. She set up multiple drop off locations in South Florida. Looks like there were little mini tornadoes just like ruining certain areas. Or if they're not flattened, they're compromised to the point where they're not livable. So they're saying over and over again that they need tarps, um, big ones, heavy duty ones. And boots. In fact, when we spoke to her right after she returned home, she didn't have shoes because she gave them to someone on the island. It's a flip-flop world over there. They need durable boots that are waterproof, even sneakers, even anything that they can, you know, work on, work and get stuff done in. Pumps, chainsaws, air mattresses, and generators will go a long way. Shaul already has raised more than $200,000 in just 48 hours with the GoFundMe page. Much of that money will fuel planes to get those donations across. It's less than an hour flight from South Florida. She says the majority of the people who visit her resort are from there. It's a connection, she says, is about the people. It's the people that you meet and the connections that you make with the locals are just so special. They are the most generous, heartwarming people that I've ever met. They would give you the shoes off their feet. They would give you the clothes off their back. Bahamians who now need that to be done for them more than ever before.